Apparently, Jose Mourinho refused to shake the hands of Mark Hughes not once, but twice. Once immediately after the game and then during the dressing rooms. The refusal was because Hughes supposedly told him to F off and pushed him in the technical area. This is a great deal of hoo-ha about nothing, but let's not forget that Hughes is seen by many as one of the most tedious, bitter and sore-faced men on the planet currently, and out of all men who have ever been, and ever will be, on the planet, and other planets. Following a slightly disappointing 22 draw with Stoke City, Mourinho bemoaned the absence of Marwan Fellaini, who has an injured calf. And a Herrera was disappointing in midfield, all occasional fouls and little attacking threat. It was only his first start of the season, but Herrera needs to add more attacking verve to his game when part of a three, because his clogging skills will only be essential against the biggest sides. With Eric Bailey and Phil Jones suspended, and suspended and rubbish respectively, for the Champions League game against Baal on Tuesday, Victor Lindelof will make his first competitive start for United, alongside the unsuspended and rubbish Chris Smalling. According to this, United are reserving the number 7 shirt for Antoine Griezmann ahead of the move. While a January transfer seems unlikely but not impossible he would make sense as the next big signing. More than that, though, a defence worthy of the name would be nice. Now, some really intriguing, potentially explosive news regarding David De Gea. He played well enough against Stoke, with at least one superb stop that was notable because it was close to his body sometimes something he struggles with so get ready. This could have massive implications for the season. So, with no little fuss, here's the introduction he had lunch.